welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel hi my name is Gloria Hawkins thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video I'm going to be applying my makeup you guys said you wanted makeup looks this year so we move okay. so I feel like my face is pretty oily there's this new moisturizer I'm using and there's just something wrong about it it kind of makes my face oily so I'm just going to tap it I reduce the oil from it a bit because oof, it retains so the first thing I always do is my brows some people do their foundation and everything before they do their brows but for me i like to start with my brows okay so now i've brushed it it's looking presentable i'm going to start drawing my brows okay so i always start by drawing a line underneath then i go to the top i basically follow my natural brow line i hope that made sense i always follow my natural brow line so this is how it is and then i'm going to draw the second one as well So this is what my brows are looking like like they always say well the only hope i have right now is your brows are your sisters are you are cousins or sisters not twins now i'm just going to fill up my brow and yeah i like to just tap the pencil i don't i don't like draw lines because that makes it look very looks very full so i just tap the pencil just so it fills up everything i hope that made sense now i'm done dra drawing my brows I'm going to start with my concealer so the concealers I'm going to be using on my brow is this LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn I'm going to use it underneath my brows and then this Fenty Beauty um, concealer pro filter concealer in the color 420 use an angled brush I feel like <laughs> this is just one of those tutorials but I'm not a makeup artist so I don't believe I do tutorials on makeup I'll just show you guys how I do my makeup. So yeah. Ooh, I feel like this concealer is too much. But we're going to make you Oh, that's a lot. Did I get darker? I don't know what's going on. I honestly do not know what's going on. But we move. Then when I'm done with that, <laughs> I look like they punched me. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty and just put that over the top. Yes, I think this is enough for my eyebrows. But anyways, I'm going to go in with my NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Multitasking Spray. I'm just going to spray that all over my face because I found that it kind of helps my face I do not get smile lines whenever I use it I always like to use it as, a, as my primer and also as my setting spray I'm just going to let that sit in and then I'm going to go in with my foundation so the foundation I'm going to be using today is my Fenty Beauty Pro Pe Pro Pro Filter Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the color 445 so i'm just going to apply a few drops of that on my face and then i'm going to use my brush to blend it in i found that my brush works better than my beauty blender or whenever i use my brush and use my beauty blender after it's smoother on my face or it sits well on my face so i just like to use the brush before the beauty blender i hope that made sense always remember to blend your neck okay now that i'm done with my foundation i'm going to go in with my concealer and the concealer i'm going to be using is the fenty beauty pro filter concealer in the color 420 so that's what i'm going to be using on my face so i'm trying this method so on instagram where they said you take your concealer off to make your face look chiseled i don't know how true that is i don't know anything about makeup or trying to chisel your face or shape change change the shape of your face so <laughs> i don't know how that works so now i'm going to use this floma bb cream this is what i always use to con to contour my face and i'm going to use that to contour my face i like to contour my cheeks and my forehead and my jawline because that's what i know to contour that's what i've always, always known you contour and also my nose as well do not forget your nose 
And when I'm done with that, I'm going to blend everything out because you need to blend your face. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender, spray it with a bit of water, and I'm going to start blending everything out, okay? I like to tap when I'm blending out my makeup because that just makes it sit in well. I don't smudge it on my face, I tap. That gives a flawless look. So when I'm done blending out the concealer, I'm going to go in with my Contour Beauty Blender and then just tap it into the contour just so I can refresh it because I feel when I blend the concealer, it kind of like brushes over the contour I did. I'm going to go with my spray, the same spray I always use and I'm going to spray that all over my face because I feel like this also helps set my makeup. The next thing I like to do is my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is the Dare to Create eyeshadow, the color 39A. In case you guys see like different lighting in this video, I'm really sorry. The sunlight is just doing its own thing and I'm doing my own thing. So now I'm going to go in with this color. And I'm going to use that on my eyelid. And when I'm done, I'm going to take my concealer a very tiny bit. And I'm going to apply a very tiny bit on my eyelid just so it shows, I guess. I don't know if I did the right thing, but oh well. I think that's enough. So I wanted to try to see what it would look like. I guess that's what I wanted. And this is the color I'm applying where I put the concealer. I'm going to go in with the other brush and use the second color I used. And I'm just going to blend out this place just so it doesn't look too harsh again i don't know if i can do that but we're going to try so now i'm going to go in with my eyeliner from Flomar and I'm going to use that to line my eyes but before I do that I always like to glue on my lashes so while that is drying while I'm doing my eyeliner, the lashes are drying. So the lashes I'm going to be using today is Lash By Me. If you do not know, it's Eunice's brand. Yes, she's based in Turkey. So you guys can check her out if you're in Turkey and you're looking for eyelashes. She can ship to you if you're in Cyprus as well. So yeah, please check her out. Her lashes are like one of the best lashes I've used since I came to Turkey. I'm not even trying to promote my friend. I'm telling you fact. Well, I'm promoting her, but I'm telling you fact at the same time. Oh no, it's that. Oh, 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 oh. So the next thing I'm going to do now is my eyeliner. And the eyeliner I'm going to be using is this one from Flomar. Yeah, it's my basic eyeliner from Flom. From Flomar. That's what I'm going to use on my eyes. Now I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going to go with my eyelashes and the lashes I'm going to be using today is the Flashed By Me brand. The brand is owned by Eunice, Eunice my friend, Eunice Eunice, yes that Eunice. She has a eyelash, her eyelash line that she recently started and I've been using her lashes for like <laughs> almost six months now. I started using them before she launched them. I, I was like, sis, I don't have lashes. Just give them to me. I'm going to show you guys her packaging and what it looks like. So this is her packaging. How beautiful is this, guys? I don't know. You Can you guys see this? How beautiful is this? Okay, I'll just put this like this. Like, it's so nice. It says Lashed by Me. And at the back, it says the ME is basically her initials for her name. And underneath, it says Lash Out Loud and the Instagram handle. I'm going to put the Instagram handle in the description box or on the screen here if I remember. So, you guys should check her out and support her, okay? Usually, not someone that uses like luscious lashes, but 
I don't know what happened. It's like lashed by me, touched me. I said using those type of lashes. So yes, that's what I'm going to be using today. So before I start applying the lashes, I'm just going to brush my eyelashes because they're looking like Tom and Jerry over here, so. this is what they look like I'm using like one of the really you know flashy ones <laughs> I know like 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 so this is what the lashes look like now I'm going to bake my face I think it's called or highlight my face I don't know what it's called but I'm going to be using is the Sasha buttercup powder this one that's what I'm going to use to set my face okay when you guys set your powder do you usually apply much or little I usually try to apply as little as I can because I don't like my face looking whitish. And I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fake Con um, Powder in the color NYW58. NYW That's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to use that to contour my face. I also like to contour my nose properly just because, you know, I forgot to highlight my nose as well. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So this is what it looks like. I try not to leave it on for too long. So I'm just going to blend it quickly. So I'm going to use this brush to quickly blend it out. I like to use a mirror close to me because I'm kind of short-sighted. So I can't really see my camera. So to be sure of what I'm doing, I like to hold a mirror close to me. So yeah. So when I'm done with that, I like to go with my setting spray once again and just spray all over my face and after that i'm going to go in with my lip liner it's just a brown lip liner from or eyeliner from flomar that i usually use i'm going to use that to line my lips okay so today i'm going to use my classics makeup my classic makeup in the color nude girl i'm going to use that to line my lips or to apply as my lipstick for today's look okay so this is what it looks like and i'm going to apply that on my lip this used to be my favorite lipstick but now i think i just prefer lip gloss because i feel this is now too bright it's weird how it's when we have to wear mask I now prefer lip gloss over matte lipstick but before <laughs> I used to prefer matte lipstick I never used to like lip gloss but now look at me so yes now to highlight my face I'm going to use this Flomar highlighter and I'm going to use that between my nose or the bridge of my nose is this the bridge of my nose I'm going to apply it here here and my tear duct area basically that's where I like to apply my highlighter if you watched any of my highlighting videos or my makeup videos rather am I the only one who likes to highlight their tear duct area like it just makes a huge difference like look at the one I've not highlighted and this is the one I've highlighted it just makes a difference it just brings more boom to, the, to your makeup I hope that made sense what is boom? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you also highlight your tear duct areas because I'm sh I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that love highlighting that part of my face when doing my makeup. And sometimes when I want to be extra, I highlight here. But I'm not going to make it show too much, so yeah. Anyways, hey guys, so this is my final results. This makeup is just so simple. I love the outcome. It's very not too much, but serious, but very calm. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, this is my final result. Let me know what you guys think about this makeup look. Do you like it? Do you want me to do more makeup looks? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? Bye, guys.